you guys. We have a rogue chicken. I just saw the chick on my seedlings up there. This little chicken is a stinker. What were you doing? You belong here. Little troublemakers. It's time for you guys to go outside. Please excuse, um, I'm not dressed for today really, <laughs> but we've just finished a long homeschool day and I just reorganized my little, my baby room <laughs> from like the baby ducks and the baby chicks and the baby seeds. I'm calling it the baby room. Um, so a lot of my seeds, I was using these shelving units and they were getting not enough sun really, and they're starting to get kind of leggy and some of them are sprouting slowly. So I try to move things around so that they can get a lot more sun and I can have a lot more area that's getting the sun. So let me show you. So when you come in, I put this couch here. This couch is like, I can't wait to get rid of it. It's so gross. Um, so I just put a drop cloth over the top of that. And then over here, the table used to be here. So I moved it down so all of these seeds can get some sunlight and then these two shelving units are by the windows and I actually can have three shelves that are getting some sunlight and one maybe kind of two. I'm gonna, I've been rotating everything but I like that everything here on the tabletop is able to get a lot more sun now. I can store some things underneath, have a lot more space and this little guy Olivia brought to me this morning She's been growing a pepper in her room. I don't even know what kind of pepper it is, but I'm going to repot it because this is like hard mud. <laughs> and it's it seems to be doing well, but I don't think it's gonna put down very good roots. So I'm gonna repot it with some fresh potting soil so I can just give it the best chance that it can. And then, yep, I moved the ducks and the chicks over to this side of the room. They're all lounged out. Look at their feet. They're enjoying their little bit of sunshine too. So yeah, these little ducks, they're so skittish and they run away from me. So I'm afraid if I go outside with them that I'm not gonna be able to catch them to put them back in. So um, we don't have like a little baby gate thing to put them in. So I haven't quite figured it out. Maybe I'll put them in the chicken run. That's actually a great idea that I just thought of. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna bring the chicks and the ducks and put them in the chicken run. Maybe when Michael gets home, he can help me do that and get them a little bit of outside time. They're falling asleep, so sweet. Goodness, let me show you the chicks. They're over here. They're just kind of hanging out down there. I saved their little box that they came in from the post office so we can carry them all in that. Or maybe we'll just put the ducks in there with them and bring this whole big brooder out. Oh, he's stretching too. They're all getting their wings. They've all started hopping out onto the sides and roosting on the edges. And actually I came out here earlier. I think I got kind of footage of it, but I didn't get the whole thing. But one of the chicks was in my tray of seedlings and I was like, oh no, <laughs> you cannot be in there. So it's time to get them out. So tomorrow we're gonna go Shopping will bring you along. This will probably be like a two day video, but um, we're gonna go to the hardware store and I'm gonna try to get some stuff so we can build a little duck house next to the chicken house and get all the things we need to get these animals outside as soon as they can. And then this will just be my little wannabe greenhouse room. So that's exciting. And yeah, that's it. I'm gonna repot this little plant and Michael should be home soon and then maybe we'll be able to take these little chicks and ducks outside. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights I'm 
falling down I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Catching them might not be fun. <laughs> <laughs> or will be fun. We want to watch you try to catch them. I know. I'm wearing my nice shoes, too. Can I Hi. <laughs> Look at its feet all out. Okay, you want to get in the bathtub? I'm going to give the little duckies a bath. One at a time, because I don't want to try carrying two. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. The duck swimming. It's okay. It's alright. It's alright. Think I can get another one? But yeah, how's gonna? How are we gonna keep that one in here while you go get the other? We might have to pause the video yeah. and watch them. Okay. <laughs> what do you girls think? Hey, don't poop on camera. What, Mabel? You see ducks? Here, here they are. Here they are. They are all together. <laughs> They're all together. I feel like the water has drained out. I don't want to put cold water. It has water a in little there. bit, but it's okay. <laughs> so really. What is that, Mabel? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, they've, they've ruined it. They the plate. Yeah, the plate moves. <laughs> Mabel wow. thinks it's good fun. I don't want them to get cold. So, if anybody doesn't know, this sink doesn't have hot water to it, so. And it doesn't have a stopper either. Now I just have three wet ducks. In <laughs> Isn't that a nursery oh, rhyme or something? <laughs> Oh goodness, don't fight me. What is that, Mabel? It's okay. Ducks in a tub. <laughs> My word. Okay, well that was a failed attempt, but we brought him upstairs, and if you've watched our previous videos, you know we don't use this bathroom really, or the tub, especially because of some issues it's got, but <laughs> it's fine for the ducks. So I'm gonna bring you guys in here and show you the ducks having some fun in the bathtub. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not going to show you the details of the bathroom because it's hideous. <laughs> this is what we were made for, guys. It's only been that first time, that first video in that little water. We can't wait to get them outside, but it's still too cold at night, so. It was too windy today, but the daytime might be starting to be able to turn up later today. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. That's pretty poopy water. You don't want your hand in there. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
show us those new swimming skills. <laughs> so fluffy butt wiggles. Yeah. Look at that middle one, that's so great. Yes, it's enough water. Yeah. <gasps> <laughs> I am out here planting more seeds. I actually just got the seeds out of my shishito peppers and I planted them. So I'm super excited. I hope they work out. Of course, I didn't even think and I like rubbed my nose after doing that so my nose is all burning now i said when we got ours they're supposed to, these shishito peppers like are very mild and delicious tasting but like one in ten is spicy but for some reason the pack that we got it was like nine out of ten were spicy so i hope that they'll grow like they're supposed to and like not just all be spicy but they're still yummy anyway so yeah, Mabel's so cute. She came down here and started playing with the dirt and I feel like I should have stopped her, but it's just so darn cute. I can't stop her. And I've, you know, I've made a mess of dirt on the floor myself. So it's all right. It's okay. So I'm excited. I'm starting new seeds. I'm about to do another tray with flowers and a tray with herbs, which I think I'm gonna start in these cells and then transplant over to some pots because I'm hoping to do herbs like on the porch. But I'm starting a second round of lettuce because my head lettuce over there is like two or three weeks old. So hopefully in the garden, I'll be able to harvest those heads of lettuce and then repot these ones three weeks later, they'll be ready to go in. So that's exciting and yeah, that's all I'm up to today. We finished homeschool. It's a little chilly out today. Tomorrow's supposed to be even colder, but then from then on out, I'm hoping for nice weather. Lots more outside content for you guys. Getting our ducks outdoors because they're ready to go out. Also, I don't know if I showed you this thing here. Can anyone tell me what this is? Look, the seed is still on this little leaf right here. I wonder if I can, look, it's so cute. They're like growing into that. I'm gonna just see if I can gently remove that seed. So I can let those leaves be free. There we go. I think there's another one on there. Anyway, this package was one that was gifted to me and it said snap on it. So I assumed it was snap peas I planted them with my other peas, which are right here. They're gonna be repotted today. These are like um, just regular, I don't remember what brand they are, what kind they are. They're like English peas or something. But these things, the seeds were a lot bigger and they have shot up. So I'm thinking they were, they're like a bean. So tell me if you know, anyway, I repotted them into this thing. So hopefully I can keep them inside a little bit longer until I can move them outside and hopefully they'll just, you know, vine up on here. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, if you know what those are, let me know. I'm thinking they're, they're a bean, like a snapping bean. So we'll see. Anyway, that's what I'm up to. I put Mabel in a bucket so we won't get any more dirt on the floor and she can play. This sweet girl has barely been able to play outside in her life because she was so little and then we've had such a long winter. I cannot wait for her to just be able to go outside and play in the dirt and play outside with the chickens. She's gonna love it so much.
Even if the sky is falling down